Didn't we just... Didn't we just say... Yeah, these are lethal plants, so that statement is incorrect. Oh, we already have a conclusion? I... I... I we're not done yet. <laughs> Set up an experiment. Set up the alkaloid from a chemical laboratory and the caterpillars and perform the experiment with deadly plants. Yes, please. I will do so. <clears throat> Perfect, Watson. We can begin our experiment. Yes. Bye. See ya. Please don't send the Yakuza after me if you know them. Mew. Experiments. What? Oh, God. Watson. Really? You're so imprintable. <sighs> oh, well. This is a fad. We'll get over this. I imagine that one of these plants would be capable of releasing a toxic vapor. I need to find out exactly how it could be done. I shall begin now. Watson, if you are at all optimistic to have dinner this evening, then I'd recommend that you put on the gas mask. Impressionable. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. <laughs> um... Swap? What? No. What? A prickly plant. <laughs> you think? A carnivorous plant. This is a strange and unusual plant. It is. Why do you want me to swap them? No reaction. Oh, that's what you want me to do. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. It appears to have fallen inactive after being disturbed. That's not it then. My word, it shot a spike at me after I stabbed it with a pin. I imagined that its reaction would be ferocious if I increased the strength of my attack. Try it. My word. <laughs> okay. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Okay. Oh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Cool. <laughs> okay. Does not like that. This plant becomes inactive after being drenched with alkaloid. Oh, you like these? We know that. Nom 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 nom. I. F oh. Again. I find the behavior of predators utterly fascinating. Me too. Okay. 
Oh. It appears to open after being soaked with alkaloid. <laughs> oh. It closed again. I believe I saw a small cloud of gas. I wonder what secrets this plant is hiding. Perhaps if we agitate it to a greater extent whilst it is opened, it will reveal a little more. Okay, I can do that. It appears to open after... It closed again. I believe I saw a small cloud of gas. I wonder what secrets this plant is hiding. Perhaps if we agitate it to a greater extent whilst it is opened, it will reveal a little more. Hmm. So more alkaloid? It appears... No reaction. Huh. What else do I have then? I have a bin, I have alkaloids, I have caterpillars. What do you want me to do? I have I have only three. This is a strain. I know. Feed the plants with the other plants? What? What do you mean? I can't feed him. I can only swap them. Although... It closed again. No. I believe I saw a small cloud of gas. I wonder what secrets this plant is hiding. Perhaps if we agitate it to a greater extent whilst it is opened, it will reveal a little more. How? How am I going to agitate it more then? What do you want me to do? It appears... Hold on. Toxic gas with spores. Extraordinary. There we go. That's what I wanted. The plants would be capable of killing only if they were directly next to the victim and stimulated at precisely the right moment. Let us take our caterpillars to the colonial collection room. We may see things more clearly there. It is too early, Watson. We our suspects it. will we be there. Let us investigate Kew Gardens one more time and ask some questions. Cool. Very interesting. <clears throat> Sex scheme. The Divine Syndicate left the plans at Kew Gardens in order to murder Montague Dune at a later date. Someone saw the deadly plants before the deadly syndicates were able to. But how did they how did they get them back then? It's me. I 
I, I really don't want it to be the Asian guy. I don't know where he's from, so <laughs> I'm just going to say Asian. <clears throat> I don't know if it's, it's Chinese, Japanese. I don't think it's Korean, but, you know, I, I don't know. Well, hi. Um, my goodness, I don't know. I don't want it to be him. I don't want it to be the syndicate. Please, no. No. Hi. Can you tell me if you saw Mr. Montague Dunn on the day of his death? Yes, of course. I met him, and we went to see Albert, his son, at around half past nine. He appeared quite calm. What were you doing on the morning of the accident? After paying multiple visits to Albert, I had a little talk with Miss White. Then I returned to my desk to complete some paperwork. Suddenly, I observed that Mr. Dunn was not feeling well, so I ran immediately to fetch Albert. I clearly remember that it was around half past ten, for I was late that morning. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. <sighs> Everyone has a motive. Everyone. Your father's death does seem highly suspicious. What were your movements here on that day? Suspicious? Well, I was working in the seed house, taking care of a uh, lice, uh, something, or, or Lear, <laughs> Pontus, or... No, wait. Ah, oh, these Latin names. I spent so many hours trying to memorize them. Did you see your father that day? Yes. He came here with Mr. Hamish for his weekly visit. There was nothing unusual about that. And then? Nothing. They stepped out to the backyard. It was perhaps 20 minutes before 10 o'clock. Then about 10 minutes later, I saw my father heading for the dry tropics room while Mr. Hamish returned here. And Mr. Hamish and Miss White? What were they both doing that morning? Mr. Hamish visited me a couple of times. I also saw him returning from talking with Miss White, and that was at ten minutes past ten. But then he ran back here to me to tell me that my father was feeling unwell. We hurried across to the water lily room, and I found my father lying dead on the floor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's quite you, specific in his we time. We shall see you again soon. I don't trust Hamish. I don't. I don't. That's the thing. I don't trust him, but that is not a crime. Being untrustworthy, as far as I know. <sighs> also, the fact that that is his workplace and a window, and the windows are clean so he can just observe... His plan in, in going to action, it's <clears throat> that is particularly suspicious. I mean, if the windows were dirty, it wouldn't matter. But the windows are clean. They have been cleaned. That is a thing. Hi! I'm back! Can you tell me what Mr. Dunn was doing upon the day of his death? I can, but there is nothing very special to say. I was in the laboratory when I saw Mr. Dunn heading towards me. Tuesday is the day of his weekly visit. It was supposed to be at nine, but he was ten minutes late, as usual. And then? Well, he came in to say good morning. Then I saw him spend two or three minutes by the plants outside the laboratory. After that, he ran out in the direction of the nursery, where Mr. Hamish was working. He was always in a rush during the inspection, you see. I would pity anyone who stood in his way. And that was the last time you saw him? Yes. I stayed in the laboratory until 20 minutes to 11, when I heard the cries of Albert and Mr. Hamish from the large glass house. I joined them as soon as I could. For I knew that something must be very wrong. What exactly were you doing in the laboratory? I was recording an experiment for my thesis. I only stopped my work once when Mr. Hamish visited me briefly around 10 o'clock. Hmm? Oh, right. 
Uh, you say you were recording an experiment when the tragedy occurred. Might I listen to the role? Oh, certainly. Please do. You will find it in the laboratory. It is number 320. Uh, thank you, miss. Sometime later... Everyone has gone, Holmes. The way is clear. When Montague Dunn was standing close by the plants, the caterpillars were released and caused the deadly spores to activate. Panicking and likely already half asphyxiated, Montague Dunn started back and knocked over the bust. He rushed to the door, but it was locked. He had to force it open with his shoulder. We already know the outcome. Montague Dunn collapsed and died not far from the pool. Well, it is time to perform our experiment on the ventilation system. Yes, please. The caterpillars could only fall from the ventilation duct. Our caterpillars are in place. I'll activate the ventilation system so that they fall down. Watson, stay here and observe. All right, Holmes. What? What do you want me to see? I, I already know this. Oh, you want me to? Okay. I know where it is. Don't you worry. This Holmes is a lever plan to kill Watson. Ha <laughs> ha! You have seen through my plan. Chat, deal with him. <laughs> he must not escape. He knows our plan. <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> the power is on. The engine has started. The ventilation system is working. Okay. But is it only going to there? <laughs> yeah. Here, we are unable to see the interior of the colonial collection room. Excellent. This ventilation fan is working. Let us see if I can activate the other one. Aha! Uh -huh. It 
sorry, Noodle. I hope you understand. I cannot allow this. <laughs> so mean. So mean. And he was never heard from again. No. And he was new. <sighs> Too smart. <laughs> Perfect. Now I just need to find Watson to check the result. Hold on. No, 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 the window. No, no, the window. No. It works perfectly, Holmes. Bravo. <laughs> now, if you could just help me to get rid of these caterpillars. Oh, they're cute. Perfect. Now we know how the murder of Montague Dunn was carried out <gasps> by activating both Albert's and Mr. Hamish's fans. But only from Mr. Hamish's workplace would it be possible to see when Montague Dunn entered the colonial collection room. Hey, Rocket Tender. Oh, I... I want to go for him. Martin Hamish had the opportunity to stimulate the deadly plants in the colonial collection room. As a biologist, he would have understood the technicality of how to do this. March, or Hamish is guilty. Martin Hamish could be the killer. He had the opportunity to steal the divine syndicate plants and stimulate them from his workplace. Directly after he had locked Mo uh, Montague Dune inside the colonial collection room. The arrest of Martin Hamish. Wait, but that is not that is not a conclusion. So that's it. That is not a conclusion. That is odd. I agree with this. Okay, well, I, I guess we're gonna go with that then. But this is odd. Let's go to Scotland Yard. Yes, we shall. Okay. Oh my goodness, I have to go. No! Just a little longer, chat. Just a little longer. I can finish this. I can. It's time. No. 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 Wait. Uh, run. Ah. <laughs> Inspector, I believe that Martin Hamish is guilty of the murder of Montague Dunn. Aha. I knew. It. Sure. I'll send the lads around to arrest him. Very good. I shall wait to hear from you. Wait, why is this weird? Sometime later. Why is this different? Huh? Hold on a second. But I have more clues. Hold on. There's not even a choice.
Okay, let's just see what happens then. I, I don't know. What is, what is happening, Sherlock? What are you doing? Inspector, I came here as quickly as I could. Martin Hamish is in the large glass house. There's no need to hurry. Oh, God. I knew it. He is dead, isn't he? He is dead. Don't tell me. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to see what happens later today. Ha <laughs> ha. I have to. I have to go. <laughs> Gasp. I did it. <laughs> Uh, no! Yes! I have to go. Sorry, I will back. I will be back though. Oh, in two hours. <clears throat> actually, a little bit less. Uh, I will be back at six. And then we'll continue this. Or actually, I think we can end this. And then we have another mystery. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's go over here. 